remember making bubbles as a kid and remember how quickly they'd pop. Well, today our Candace Manicelli joining us with an experiment to make unpoppable bubbles. Hey, Candace. Good morning. We are going to make unpoppable bubbles. So a fun activity to get the whole family involved today. And we are going to learn a little bit about making a stronger solution and evaporation. So uh, pretty cool to check out. Here's a list of what you need to get started. So first, some corn syrup, then either wool gloves or a spoon, a mixing bowl, dish soap, water, and a plastic pipette. So first, let's make our solution. You wanna put the water, corn syrup, and dish soap, combine it all together. There's a full recipe on fox17online.com, and I even cut that recipe in half, and it still works. Then either take your pipettes or your straw. Not everybody has pipettes at home, so you can use a straw as well. But if you are using the pipettes, you want to cut the top end off. So now you just dunk one end of either your straw or pipe it in the solution and blow a bubble. You need to blow it though, either on the wool glove. This isn't wool, but on the wool glove or spoon. So I'll be using a spoon because I could not find a wool glove this morning. So here we go. There we go, an unpoppable bubble for you. So it will last on the spoon or a wool glove. You can kind of shake it around there. It will pop eventually, but we made a stronger solution and we're slowing down evaporation because what a bubble is, it's simply a pocket of air that has a soap film over it. But there's actually three layers to it. There's, oh, there it goes, it pops. But you can see there's, there's a film to it, there's a soap film to it. So bubbles, they're actually three layers. So it's a water layer between two layers of soap. Well, we added corn syrup in our mixture. Here we go again. There we go. So we added corn syrup to our mixture, which makes it stronger. But soaps want to be a sphere because this is the easiest shape to create with the least amount of energy. But that outside film, the outside layer, that's called a soap film. So when we add that corn syrup, it's making it stronger and it's not allowing the water on the inside of the two soap films to evaporate really quickly because once that water evaporates, that's when your bubbles pop. So that's why it pops so quickly. So there you go. An unpoppable, pops eventually bubble that is a stronger solution and slows down evaporation. So if you try it at home, send me those pictures on Facebook and there's a full list of instructions and this recipe for the solution on fox17online.com.